Good evening, Los Angeles, and thank you. Today, Dr. Robert Redfield, the director of the CDC, said the next three months are going to be the most difficult in the public health history of this nation, largely because of the stress that's going to be put on our health care system. We're beginning to feel that stress here in Los Angeles, and the latest data is nothing short of alarming. In the last month alone, since early November, our daily infections have tripled. Our hospitalizations have more than tripled and are at a new peak. And our deaths have nearly doubled and they continue to rise. These numbers don't reflect last week's record-breaking numbers. They don't reflect yet the Thanksgiving effect of time spent together with families when many people were gathering and traveling in defiance of public health warnings. And here in our golden state, unfortunately, California has one of the fewest numbers of hospital beds per capita compared to other states. So if cases continue on this pathway, if they continue to increase at the pace that we've seen, the county expects that we will run out of hospital beds here in Los Angeles by Christmas time. The public health of our city the public health condition of our city, excuse me, is as dire as it was in March, in the earliest days of this pandemic. So tonight, I want to speak, as always, to you candidly, with the truths and the statistics that I get as soon as I get them, to share them with you. And to know what we can do in the coming days, it's as much what you choose not to do as what you do do that will determine what happens here in our beloved hometown. The choices between us are stark, between health and sickness, between care and apathy, and yes, between life and death for too many of the people that we love. My message couldn't be simpler. It's time to hunker down. It's time to cancel everything. And if it isn't essential, don't do it. Don't meet up with others outside your household, don't host a gathering, don't attend a gathering. And following our targeted safer at home order, if you're able to stay home, stay home. Where is the buzz? Oh, yeah. Where is the buzz? You said we used to be a safe home. Where is the buzz? <laughs>